No. Is there anything in here? Did they put in? There's a lot of sutures. There's a really heavy like stitches essentially. Oh, so like oh, there's, okay. you tore your the very your patella. Yeah. yeah. Then you drill three holes through the patella, mm -hmm. and you pass those stitches up through them, okay. and then you tie the stitches down over the patella to really kind of crank them down there. That you'll share with me your hopes and all your dreams. What's up guys, it's your boy Henry and I am back with another video. Got my beautiful girlfriend right here, Gigi. Hey. Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> yeah. Another update on this knee situation at the doctor's office, hospital, orthopedic, whatever you want to call it. Check it out. We here. And um, I just want to know if I'm gonna ever be able to bend my knee again. You know what I'm saying? DG leaving me, y'all. Look at him. If you ain't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and all that good stuff right now. We finna go get some news from this doctor. What type of rehab I need to take. If I'm able to go back to work. If I'm able to walk right again without this limp. I mean, I don't know. What am I gonna be able to do? What I'm not gonna be able to do? So, um, yeah. Come in the section down below. Y'all got any ideas? Any other doctors? Cause um, I don't know what this doctor gonna tell me. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, sitting here in the waiting room, waiting. Henry blackout. Huh? Henry blackout. Henry blackout. What's that mean? I don't know. <laughs> We're trying to figure out some names, y'all. We'll tell y'all in a minute what it's about. Now. Anyway, sitting up in this waiting room. I think I got here a little early, four minutes from one, one o'clock. So, when we get to the back, um, to the meeting, uh, to the appointment, I said the meeting. We're going to bring y'all with it, okay? Make sure y'all get all the footage, all right? <laughs> okay, y'all, we in the doctor's room by ourselves. We didn't do the baby, we didn't never do the dance thing. <laughs> hey, anyway, I need some gauze. I need some rap so we're gonna go through this shit and try to get some. Right here, right here. Oh, I need to lock everything up before you can't steal nothing from this bitch. Let's take these gloves, fuck it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Golly. Anyway, y'all, check it out. Wait on this doctor. Hopefully, we get some good news. Um, Go back to work. He'll tell me in the front. I might not walk again. Right? I don't know. Hopefully, I am. I don't believe him. So we gonna see what this doctor talking about. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, oh wait, is it on? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> try to talk about the camera not on. You crazy girl. Anyway, I got my arm. Um, Ray still on here, trying to do right by it. Anyway, hopefully I can get on, um, go back to work real soon. Cause um, if you got any guys like me, I ain't nobody with no gal taking care of them, man. Gotta take care period. of myself. You know what I'm saying? Say period. Period. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, <clears throat> don't women just say that? No. Yeah, take that back. Yeah. He did it again. Yeah, I don't do that. Anyway, um, wow, she got the camera up on me like that. No, it's not. Golly. It's a big frame. So if anybody, I'm going to give y'all old school some advice. You might think you Superman, you might even think you Spider-Man. And some of y'all think y'all Wonder Woman. Say your ass off the basketball court because this shit just break down. Well, like just don't it. play on rough. You know what I'm saying? Where don't be a bully. Hmm. Don't be a bully. Somebody behind me? Somebody yeah, that butterfly. Be what do you mean don't be a bully? In the court. I ain't no play bully. Play nice. I ain't no bully. You were playing on rough. <laughs> what you, look, that's competition. It ain't football. That's competition. I don't play no football on the basketball court. Yeah, yes you do. You be putting your body weight on people. Whatever. Anyway. 
I gotta get that body back too, man. I ain't got uh, ain't man, nothing now, man. Anyway. Right. You lost about 30 pounds. Oh my god. Anyway, y'all, we're gonna wait on this doctor to come back. Hopefully, it's the same doctor. You know, because they just be changing up on me. You know, I already got a different nurse. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. We go see. Okay. Type of film person do I have, y'all. She didn't turn the film on when the doctor was in here. I'm the doctor coming back. Um, you should ask what what does it have inside. Okay. What yeah. is that bulkiness that you feel? Well, it it damn near feel like it just went down some more. It was it, it was swollen in this this morning. So it went down the swollenness. I mean, that's why I, how you wrapped it. I guess so. Because huh? you had it a little I, bit tight, yeah. Yeah, y'all, um, motherfucking knee look like I've been getting drug on my knee. <laughs> anyway. She look darker than the rest I of the body. I know. But it's okay. We're in the road of recovery. Road of recovery, y'all. Um, yeah. Ask her why hasn't it healed? Or is it bad that it hasn't healed? Oh, because I've taken too many baths, uh, so. Yeah. What? Why it didn't heal yet? I said I hear it out more. Ask her that too. Hey, how hey. you doing? Alright. That is what looks like it's fine, first of all. Okay. Gonna <laughs> looks like when you hit, you might have had an abrasion there, or it's rubbing your knee brace, knee brace the wrong way or something. It could be. Yeah. But I, yeah, that, yeah, that when I hit it, it wasn't like that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the, this probably just rubbing your, it has to be just rubbing your uh, brace, brace the wrong way. It's something that can really explain sure that answer. thing. Yeah, that one was really deep. You could actually see in there at first. Oh, really? Yeah. It's weird. I mean, the incision for surgery is just right yeah. here. Yeah. So I was wondering. Over there. I was like, wondering. Because I, I was like, why did they put those two there? Yeah. Is no. there anything in here? Did they put anything There's in a here? lot of sutures. There's yeah. a little bit, really heavy, like, stitches, essentially. Oh, so, like, oh, there's. Okay. You tore your. The very. Your patella. Yeah. yeah. The very tip of your patella basically yeah. broke off yeah. with your patellar tendon, which is, like, that thing right yeah. there. And so. To get that back on, what you do is you cut out that little piece of broken bone, Correct. and you run stitches down this, you run it in like this locking fashion down and up, and then again down and up. So you have four big threads kind of holding the whole patellar tendon. Okay. Then you drill three holes through the patella, mm -hmm. and you pass those stitches up through them, okay. and then you tie the stitches down over the patella to really kind of crank them down there. Okay. So. Your x-ray looks great, everything's fine. Okay. Um, we need to watch those wounds. Do you, if I say wet to dry dressing, do you know what that means? So, uh, you shouldn't, unless you've done it before. I'm yes. just seeing if you've done it before. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take gauze, you're gonna stick it under the sink real quick, and get a little bit wet, and you're gonna put it on those two spots. One piece of gauze is probably the trick. Okay. You're gonna wrap up your knee, and at the end of the day, you're gonna take off and take off that gauze. It's gonna be dry, and so it'll kind of like peel off a little bit. Okay. There's a little like debridement of the wound because it's stuck to it. It tears off the top layer, and it causes the skin to kind of granulate in and heal. It's okay. gonna heal just fine. Okay. Um, but we should watch it closely. So come back in. Have you bent your knee at all yet? No. Okay. Good. That was a trick question. Um, we're gonna start therapy. And you're going to start some yeah. gentle range of motion. We're going to start zero to 30 degrees for now. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to do wet through dressings. You're going to come back in two weeks for a wound check to make sure those are going in the right direction. I'm sure they will be. Okay. And at that point, we'll advance you up to probably up to 90 degrees of flexion. Okay. And we'll start working. The hard part of this is getting the knee flexion back. You lose it because you necessarily have to stay locked in extension for at least six weeks to let the because because the only thing holding you together is that's the, the is those stitches. So yeah. you have to let your body have a chance to kind of start to scar in okay. to add to the strength of that. Okay. So, so far, looks great. Okay. Be better if you didn't have those two little wounds there, but nothing that we can't overcome. Okay. Um, Should he do that every day, yeah. the wet? Yeah, every day. So then we wake up in the morning, wet gauze on there, wrap an ace over it. Okay. At nighttime, change it, do the same thing. Put a new okay. one, take that one off, put a new wet one on, and just keep it in, like, honestly, like, 
you're a young, healthy guy. You'll probably heal this up in like two weeks. Okay. I think you just got rubbed wrong, rubbed wrong by the dressing and the brace. So Yeah, and he felt it right after surgery, too. He felt the brace too tight. Yeah, that's probably what it was. Yeah, so. It is what it is at this point. We'll go from here, and it'll heal up just fine, though. So, wet the dry dressings. Give you the hinge brace. Gonna unlock it at zero to 30. We're gonna start some physical therapy. Come back in two weeks for a quick wound check, and then we'll start to advance you from there, okay? So when will I start the physical? We'll make you an appointment right now, okay. and sometime in the next week or so. And okay. How often the physical is it? Be once a week or? Right now, months. once a week's probably fine. Um, eventually, when you're starting to really need to get that motion back, you might go a little bit more often. Okay. But talk with the therapist; they're the experts in that whole stuff. Okay. So kind of if like you're flying through it, or they think that you can kind of do it at home on your own, whatever it is, okay. they'll, they'll they'll work with you. They're not going to, like, hold you hostage and make you come every day or anything. Oh, okay. They're, they're going to figure out a way to give you the best chance of getting your full motion back. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much, Tommy. Tell me next time, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, so man. All right, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We are at the hospital, doctor's office, whatever you might call it. They changed my brace. Put another one on there. Still got the old one right here. And um, I got physical therapy now, y'all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It won't be long. Thought they was gonna tell me I wasn't gonna be able to walk right no more. God got other plans, so guess what? Get ready. We just going up today. We just going up from now, baby. <laughs> We're gonna be like Weezy and George. Oh, you too young for that, I'm sorry. If y'all know about Weezy and George, let me know. Anyway, we're gonna catch y'all later, man. Peace! We're gonna get some fried chicken on. That you'll share with me your hopes and all your dreams.